Welcome to westernslopenow.com. Meteorologist Russ Pappas here looking at just, just at the numbers. These are slowly improving from the cold afternoons we experienced all of last week. Now, Montrose is supposed to be, and Grand Junction, supposed to be 42 degrees this time of the year. Early February, 42 degrees. Our lows are supposed to be right around the 20 degree mark. We didn't hit that this morning. We won't hit that Sunday morning, and it's not likely Monday morning. It's going to take a while for these low temperatures to recover, but the afternoons are recovering nicely. Now, I anticipate some cloud coverage moving through for the mid-morning hour today. Uh, what we have is a Pacific Northwest storm system. Now, typically, these are great systems, but do you see that circulation just off of Northern California coast? Not to be confused with the circulation around the Baja Peninsula. That's a low pressure system. But the circulation clockwise, anticyclonic, that's a high pressure system. And that's going to build inland over this weekend. So right now, it's bumping storms away from us. We will have a weak little system passing through as that high pressure system strengthens. You can see it's gotten larger. The rotation is certainly encompassing more of the western third of the US. This is deflecting. This is what we've been experiencing since January. Uh, now highlighted in green, that's the moisture potential. And you can see, once again, with the high pressure system deflecting it, that moisture rides right down along the spine of the Rocky Mountains. So a little bit of snow is expected in the northern and the central zones, not by much, but it will be impactful for the interstate travel, uh, Highway 40, probably a little bit of Highway 50 in the highest points around the passes. Um, we could even see some snow in northern Mesa County, but that's primarily the Rhone Plateau area and further north. Douglas Pass may have some implications. This is Saturday into Sunday. So this is not really a storm system for us. It will be for Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, and Minnesota, Wisconsin, but not for us. High pressure system firmly rooted in place. It's going to continue to do what it's been doing since early January, which is deflecting storms. Now this is actually a two phase, a Saturday and a Sunday system. Two weak little systems passing through, getting pushed around by the big bully. There's going to be another one for the middle of next week, but again, these aren't going to produce all that much. We'll have some lingering cloud coverage. If you're in the higher elevations, if you're in the northern zones, you're going to go overcast. You're going to go windy, but I think even a light breeze locally is probably about the max. And of course, we'll start sunny. We'll have clouds moving in and clearing out by lunch. And if you, have any, if you don't have plans today, head to Palisade. There's a Valentine's Market. It's at the Ordinary Fellow. That's a winery right downtown Palisade, right next to um, a couple of uh, iconic spots in Palisade, if you know the area well. Um, but they're doing a Valentine's Market, and you're going to be able to meet a lot of uh, artists there and a lot of crafters, and that goes from 1 p.m. until 4, and that's, there's going to be some great weather for that. On Sunday and into all the way end of next week, look at that getting into near record territory for Grand Junction with 50s on the board. Um, but those temperatures represent greater than 10 degrees of warmth compared to what we're dealing with currently. Montrose, further to the south, less impacts from that weak system, that deflection that I've been talking about. Uh, we're going to go with mostly clear skies for most of the day. Cold mornings, cold nights, that continues all the way through Tuesday morning. Uh, typical lows for this time of the year is 20 for Montrose. We also have rain deficits, so this dry stretch of quiet weather, it's not doing our rain gauges any good. Montrose, we've just pushed past the quarter inch deficit. Grand Junction's already moving beyond the half inch category. So get outside this weekend, enjoy, play. Don't forget your SPF. We're gonna add about 60 minutes of daylight by the time this month is over with. So with our current sunsets occurring right around 540, those are expected obviously to get later.